Hello everyone. You must often have heard of wise and quick-witted people like Birbal, Tenali Raman. Gopal was also one such wise and quick-witted person in the court of Raja Krishnachand of Bengal in early 18th century. One day the king gave a challenge to Gopal. Will Gopal be able to meet that challenge? Let's see in the story Gopal and Hilsa fish. Now Hilsa fish is a very popular fish found in Bengal. It's very delicious fish. This story is in the form of comic strips. You must have read comics. So it's a humorous story given in the form of comic strips and there are speech bubbles. That means dialogue of people are given in bubbles. Let's read the story now. It was the season for Hilsa fish. Fishermen could think of nothing but Hilsa fish. Fishmongers sold nothing but Hilsa fish. Come, buy. The price of Hilsa is down today. Householders could think of nothing but Hilsa fish. How much did you pay for that Hilsa? You wouldn't believe if I told you. Now, it was the season of Hilsa fish and everybody was talking about Hilsa fish. Fishermen, fishmongers in the market and even household people everybody was talking about hilsa fish about their price about how low the price has become and in the palace too courtiers could discuss nothing but hilsa fish your majesty you should have seen the huge hilsa i caught it was so in court also everybody was talking of hilsa fish stop it are you a courtier or a fisherman Now the king got angry because everybody was talking about hilsa fish so he got irritated and he shouted on his courtiers the courtiers fell silent with downcast eyes downcast means looking downward the king felt guilty now since the king scolded the courtiers became silent and they started looking down and the king felt guilty now because he scolded the courtiers i am sorry i lost my temper It is the season for hilsa fish and no one not even gopal can stop anyone from talking about hilsa fish not even for 5 minutes now the king realized his mistake and then he asked for apology and he said yes it is the season of hilsa fish and nobody even gopal cannot stop talking from hilsa fish not even for 5 minutes on that gopal said oh i think i could your majesty Then let me see you buy a huge hilsa fish and bring it to the palace without anyone asking you a word about it. I accept the challenge your majesty. So when the king said that not even Gopal can stop talking from fish even for 5 minutes, Gopal said I think I could. Then king posed a challenge in front of him that buy a huge hilsa fish without and bring it to palace without anybody talking about it. And Gopal accepted the challenge. a few days later why is your face half shaved i am dressing to buy a fish what's the matter with you why are you smearing yourself with ash smearing means smudge or coat carefully so gopal was smearing his face with ashes i told you i am dressing up to buy a hilsa fish now after few days gopal was his he he shaved half of his face so his wife asked why are you half shaven Gopal replied I'm dressing up to buy hilsa fish then he smeared ashes on his face again his wife asked what are you doing why are you smearing your face again gopal said i told you i'm going to buy hilsa fish listen to me please you can't possibly go out in those disgraceful disgraceful means shameful rags rags are torn clothes what are you up to how many times must i tell you woman i am going out to buy a hilsa fish it's happened to him he's gone mad now the wife all again asked him why are you going out in these shameful torn clothes and again gopal said i told you women i am going to buy hilsa fish and his wife thought that he has gone mad gopal bought the hilsa fish and started walking towards the palace mother look at the man isn't he comical so from market he bought the fish and when he started going towards the market people around him pointed at him he they t- told that he has a, isn't it a funny man he must be a madman hush i think he is a mystic 
Mystic here means a strange or mysterious person who is quietly up to something. So he's dressed up mysteriously and he's going to do something. So people around the street started talking about him. Some thought he's comical, some thought he's madman, some thought he's mystic. Now when Gopal reached the court, what do you want? I want to see the king. So gatekeeper stopped him and they said, what do you want? And Gopal said, I want to see the king. You can't see the king. Get away with you. So the gatekeeper stopped him and he said, no, you can't see the king. Go away. And then Gopal began to dance and sing loudly. Inside the palace, Gopal heard the voices coming from outside. The man is crazy. Throw him out at once. I want to see the king. Let me in. Bring that man to me at once. Yes, your majesty. So when the king heard the noises, he ordered that man to be brought to him immediately. Now Gopal was brought inside the king and everybody recognized him. It's Gopal. The man lost the man has lost his mind. I think it's one of his crazy jokes. So some thought he has turned mad and some thought it is one of his crazy jokes. All right, Gopal. What is what is with you? Why are you dressed up in this ridiculous fashion? Ridiculous means in absurd or in funny way. Why are you dressed up so strangely? The king asked. Your majesty, you seem to have forgotten something. Forgotten something? Strangely enough, no one seems to be interested in Hilsa fish today. From the market to the palace and in the court, not a soul has spoken a word about Hilsa fish. The Gopal reminded the king of his challenge that you have forgotten something. Then the king asked, what, what is it that I have forgotten? Then Gopal replied, strangely, no one spoke about Hilsa fish today. From the market to the palace and not even in court, nobody talked about Hilsa fish. Only then did the king remember the challenge he had thrown to Gopal. Ha ha. Well, Gopal, congratulations. You have achieved the impossible once again. So when Gopal reminded, the king remembered. He laughed and he said, yes, congratulations. This time also you have achieved the impossible once again. And this way, Gopal won the challenge with his humorous, quick-witted side. So wasn't it an interesting story, students? The form of this story is it's a humorous and funny story. So I have, hope you have liked it.